speaking to your producer, uh, you know, at that moment, I was like a bit shell-shocked at that moment, thinking now, do I actually deserve this? But then I happily accepted the nomination. Um, also not understanding that how did so much of my information go out, you know, most of the time, or all the time, you do stuff not to show anyone, you know, or not, not for it not to be out in the public, because you're doing it for your passion and perhaps to make a change in someone's life, because at the end of the day, it's, it has to do with your intention. And that was it, but uh, being nominated and getting the response that I've got from my community, from the elders community, from the parents, uh, from the teachers, on social media, it's been really phenomenal. The school playground is the child's paradise or sometimes nightmare. Because who's really keeping an eye when things go wrong? Welcome to our Teacher of the Year campaign and it's time to meet this month's teacher, Mr. Nauman Panchbaya. Initially, uh, teaching wasn't even something that I was looking forward to, but um, I think reality hit when I took a gap year after matric and I was like, uh, the community needs uh, some type of motivation, some type of encouragement. So I actually was going to, into the medical field and then after that I realized I think teaching is a calling because uh, in that gap year I learned to interact with individuals. What were the challenges that made you feel that this was worth pursuing instead of a career in medicine? So uh, most definitely I think, uh, you know, there, there would be different challenges like bullying, um, perhaps uh, learner dropout rate, uh, learners lacking motivation in certain areas. So I'm actually not even from El Dorado Park. I travel from Lanasia on a daily basis. Um, but the reason coming to an area like this, initially it was like, you know, fear setting in because of the negative connotations for an area like El Dorado Park. So that encouraged me to, um, like, you know, to come to an area like this and try to make an influence. And, and I hope that it is happening. And at the same time, being that parental figure for a child that we know in an area like this would be lacking that fatherly motivation. Right, tell me about your passion for science then in such an environment. So, knowing that these learners, um, they, most of them perhaps might lack uh, access to technology. That is something, they, they might have um, libraries in the area, but most of them don't, are not motivated enough to go and read. I mean, uh, the illiteracy rate in the school is very, very high. Uh, most of them are very visual learners, um, but Showing them actual models in class makes them realize and understand the concepts better. And I think that's, that's what makes them uh, study and love the subject more often. That is something that they can relate to, like speaking about the solar system right now, telling them that, you know, at night, try and go and locate this type of a star, or look at where the moon is, what type of a phase is the moon in. Those things interest the learners, they come back, they give you feedback, and they're like, all right, what else should I go into? So that's something that would perhaps encourage them to go into a science field or medical field. One of the things that's difficult for kids to navigate is what happens when the teachers are not there, right? Bullying is such a big problem in our schools. Yeah, there, there, there is quite a big issue. I mean, uh, on a daily basis, we can have anti-bullying campaigns, we can have anti-bullying um, you know, programs, we can have anti-bullying assemblies, we can have people coming in and speaking to them. But all of that starts when they're at home. I mean, what they're being um, shown at home, perhaps what they kind of experience at the day-to-day -day basis. Initially, uh, looking at bullying, we, we have had an incident where, whereby a child actually uh, took urine and flung it onto a teacher because the teacher reprimanded the child. And uh, that was one of the cases. Another one was uh, two stabbing incidents in the school. We've been to well-resourced schools, we've been to schools that perhaps don't have as much. But the theme throughout is it is about dedication, it is about commitment, and we thank you for yours. Thank you so much for guiding. All right. Simply go to 702.co.za to nominate a teacher that's making a difference in your community. Those teachers who go the extra mile. And who knows, the person you choose could be our next Teacher of the Month.